here with Mr. Bramat now to details. Campaign for Dhaka City Corporation polls is gaining momentum. Heavyweight mayor candidates from Awamili and BNP have given the voters pledge of making Dhaka pollution free city. BNP North City mayoral candidate Tabit Awal has started campaign from city's capital area. At the time, miscreants have carried out attack on his campaign. He strongly condemns the incident and demands fair investigation. Besides BNP mayoral hopeful for Dhaka South City polls, Ishraq Hussain has started canvassing from Demra staff quarter. He hopes Rice and Pedi will win the election. On the other hand, our Malik mayoral aspirant Atikul Islam has launched his election ring from Muslim High School. However, Sheikh Fuzlun Utapos has started campaign from Rai Shahab Bajar. <laughs> Our colleagues Zakaria and Theotunius are there to, uh, to tell about the update of election and campaign. Zakaria, what is the latest update you have? BNP mayoral candidate for Dhaka South City Corporation, Ishtak Hussain, just has ended his election campaign today from Demra area. Uh, we can see that he is uh, sharing and greetings with his, his activists and enthusiasts enthusiastic people the, uh, who were attending his election campaign and today uh, together with BNP leaders and party men he's uh, going uh, he went uh, he went to he went door to door uh, seeking votes and distributing leaflets besides he's making a number of pledges as always uh, here is mr here is mr ishraq hussain uh, ishraq how are you i'm fine thank you how are you uh, you already know, knew that uh, today, the election campaign of Tabi Tawal, the Dhaka North City Corporation mayoral candidate, was, has been attacked. So what is your reaction? About, uh, it's absolutely shameful. It's uh, preposterous. I mean, this is totally unacceptable. We, uh, we are trying to restore democracy. Bangladesh Nationalist Party is in that movement. Um, so, no, we won't, we won't be stopped by any such acts uh, of terrorism by the state. We will go ahead with our campaign and we believe that people are with us so nothing will become a barrier for our success. You and your party men said that you are running this poll as a part of movement to free Khaladazia. So where is the relationship uh, between this election and the movement to free Khaladazia? See, what we have today in Bangladesh is absolute rule of one party, of one center of power. So they can do anything they want without any liability to the people. They don't have any liability to the people. They're not answerable to the people. So to uh, resolve the problems we have currently in Bangladesh, we need to have a balance of power. That's why we need to free our chairperson, Madam Khalidazia, to restore the balance of power and make us politicians liable to the people. What is your expectation about the 1st February? I, my expectation is that the people will turn up in mass numbers to the voting centers and we will sweep it. We will have a clean sweep, we will win it, inshallah. Thank you very much. Uh, Tabit, uh, Ishraq said that a mass wave has been created in behalf of BNP and no conspiracy will be able to stop these people he aided and he is very much confident and uh, very much enthusiastic about the upcoming polls and, and he is hopeful that he will be come out successful in the upcoming polls. So this is the latest update from the campaign of Ishraq Hossein from Debra. Thank you, Zakaria. Theo, what is the latest update you have? Uh, he is rallying organized by uh, textile 
Traders Association and uh, with the uh, assist assistance of the local Awami League. Uh, he is now delivering his speech. Uh, it's a mass rally. And I uh, need to mention that, uh, Sabir, that uh, because of this mass rally and uh, as well as uh, the campaign uh, procession of ambassadors to the Nur Taposh uh, made a struggle for the mass people or jungle people. Uh, they were complaining that uh, because of this rally, because of the procession, because of the campaign, uh, we are suffering and struggling much. Uh, uh, I talked to the Taposh and the other activists of this campaign that uh, they will be uh, very alert in the future about this. Uh, after this uh, mass rally, after this mass rally, uh, uh, the Secretary of is supposed to uh, restart, restart his campaign in the uh, related areas and finish his campaign for today. Sabir. Thank you, Titanius. Viewers, our colleague Zakaria and Titanius were giving us the latest update about the election campaign. Now moving to the news. A Dhaka court today took cognizance of the charges against 35 students of Buet accused in the Abrar Fahad murder case. After scrutinizing the case dockets, Judge came Imrul Kais of Metropolitan Session Judges Court of Dhaka passed the order in presence of 22 accused. Three of the accused, Murshid Zaman, Jishan Mustafa Rifat, and Etashamul Rabbi Tanim are still on the run. The court said January 30 for hearing on charge framing against the accused in the case. On October 7, Abrar, a second year student of Buet, was beaten to death. The government is set to introduce e passport replacing the machine readable passports introduced in Bangladesh in 2010 to enhance its security features further and increase acceptability across the globe. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina is expected to inaugurate the e passport and automated border control management at a function in the city on Wednesday. The authorities concerned have completed all preparations to introduce the e-passport, which would initially be delivered from the Development of Immigration and Passport Regional Offices at Agargao, Jatrabari, and Uttara in the city. The biometric information would remain sealed as it would require print of all 10 fingers, iris and NID. High Court has ordered to seize bank accounts and passports of 19, including the fugitive banker Prashant Kumar Haldar. The bench of Justice Mohammad Khurshid Alam Sharkar passed the order on Tuesday after hearing a petition filed by two investors. Advocate Sharyar Kabir heard the petition in the court. Other accused include M. A. Hashem, Johirul Islam, Bashude Banerjee, Papia Banerjee, Mumtaz Begum, Nawarul Islam, Anwarul Kabir, and Engineer Nurul Kabir. Anti-Corruption Commission started searching for illegal assets following the disclosure of casino scandal in which Proshanto was allegedly involved. He is also accused of embezzling money of leasing money to Reliance Finance and other leasing companies through corruption and misusing power. ECNEC has been approved the project for the construction of 329 technical schools and colleges at the Upuzela level at a cost of 205.25 million taka, billion taka. The ECNEC meeting was chaired by Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina at the NEC conference room in the capital Shere Nagar today. At this time, a total of eight development projects were approval at a cost of taka 22,945 crore. The approved projects, including development of Bhola Chor Fashion Regional Highway at a cost of taka 849 crore, development of selected educational institutions in Kishore Ganj district at a cost of taka 393 crore and Lakshmipur City Corporation Connection Road and Lakshmipur Chor Alexander Shonarpur Majdi Road at Taka 369 crore. After the meeting, the planning minister informed the details. Police have arrested Jabir and his four associates in Bagmara of Ratshahi. At night, they were arrested from Bagmara area. Earlier, Jabir were arrested on December 5, but his associates attacked and robbed him with a handcuff from police. Two policemen were injured in the attack. Saber has also been accused of extortion, possession of canal, bill, pawns, beating people and torturing women and cutting off breasts. He has a huge force in Jotin Ganj market. For the past one year, the people have been opposed by the Saber group.
The Indian Border Security Force, PSF, has reportedly gunned down a Bangladesh citizen along Mominpara border in Ponchogor, Shadrupuzila. The deceased is Hassan Ali, a resident of Kalpara of Shadrupuzila. Border Guard Bangladesh, BGB 56, confirmed the matter on Tuesday morning. Locals spotted the bullet wounded body of Hassan lying nearby the demarcation pillar number 752 of Bangladesh India border area early Tuesday. Being informed, HB personnel are heading towards the spot.